Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I wanted to talk about tire pressure here for just a minute because after my whole fiasco with tires and bouncing and comfort and all that stuff that I've talked about on the channel with my Tacoma back here, I finally found the holy grail. Now, it was right in front of my face the whole time. This should have been pretty simple and that is go with your factory recommended tire pressure. You know, that card right inside the door that shows the PSI that your tires should be at, even if you go with bigger tires. I will say that when I had the tires changed, every time I did it, they always inflated the tires to somewhere around 40, 40 to 42 PSI or something. Now, if we take a look inside here, let me go ahead and open her up. You can see right here, as soon as I focus, that the tire pressure recommended is 30 PSI for everything, front, back, and spare. So, why in the world was my tire pressure set, or set rather, at 40 some PSI? It's too high. Of course you're going to get a rougher ride, you might get some bounce, all that kind of stuff. All this is so painfully obvious, right? But I didn't adjust it. So now we're going to go around and take a look. I had lowered my pressures a bit. I'm going to set everything about 3 PSI higher than what the truck calls for. So that would be 33 PSI. So let's uh, shut that up and we'll go take a look here and see just where I am. I do have this handy dandy, uh, what is it? It's Tecton, I guess. And it's uh, one of these digital tire pressure monitors. I actually won this over at uh, Gear Runner's channel in a little giveaway he had. And it works pretty well. So let's go ahead and, uh, and check this out. This is simple. All you have to do is push the button. It activates. You select the unit of measure you want. Uh, in this case it's at bar right now. We certainly don't want that. So let me go ahead and get this back to PSI. There we go. So let's go ahead and check it. Pretty simple, right? 34 PSI. Well, I said I was going to go to 33, so we're going to lower this a little bit. Pretty simple to do. And these little uh, caps that I have here actually have a little nub on the end. So you can just stick it in and lower it that way. Here we go. Let's check it again. Still 34 PSI. These tires are so big that uh, it takes a little bit to get them down. 33 and a half. Check that again. Still 33 and a half. It's let out just a little bit. And I have not driven this truck for uh, about a day. So it's not that the tires are hot. 33 still. Check it again. You can see here how much you actually have to let out, right? 33 even. See if you guys can see that reading. There you go, 33 even. So I'm going to run around and I'm going to uh, adjust all the rest of the tires. I'm not going to take you guys with me to do that. Uh, and then I'm going to go for a quick ride. We'll come back and, uh, and I'll let you know what the difference is. I already have a pretty good feeling at even this tire pressure. Okay, we're back. What a difference. I mean, I'm not going to say it was earth shattering, but you definitely can feel it. And by the way, I had the uh, driver's or the passenger side rather front tire um, not replaced. It was the wheel that was replaced the other day because they actually damaged uh, the original wheel. And when they put the new wheel on, of course, they had to fill the tire up with air, right? 36 and a half pounds. So everything else was coming in at about 34 and a half. That tire was at 36 and a half. Right now, I set everything to 33 and a half. Uh, just because I didn't want to go below 33, so 34 or 33 and a half seemed uh, pretty easily obtainable some reason, for some reason today. I don't know. It is pretty hot out here. It's pushing 90, I think. So that's going to affect your tire pressure a little bit as well. But uh, like I said, went for a ride and uh, 
The truck is like night and day from when it, when I was having the problems with it. Now, I think that's a combination of lowered air pressure and uh, a rebalance. Because when I went in and had the new wheel put on over there, I had them balanced again. So everything is great now. But again, I can't stress enough how important it is to, uh, to watch your tire pressure. If you're driving around in a truck that's miserable, and I know a few of you are because you've told me that in the comments and uh, in emails and things, that you're having similar issues, go lower your tire pressure. I mean, don't go nuts. You don't want to drive around with, you know, 20 pounds in there or something. But at least within, I'd say, no more than five pounds, probably more like three, four, um, of the manufacturer's recommended air pressure, and you should be golden. And I'd be surprised if you don't notice a huge difference. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to include you guys on my tire journey. Uh, I'm very happy with the setup now. Uh, everything seems to be normal. I still feel just a little bit of lightness in the steering wheel, but that may be just the way the Tacoma is, or at least the off-road. I would have to get in one that was brand new with stock tires to verify that, which obviously I don't have anymore. So all is good. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've experienced this. Did you go out, let your air pressure down, and did it make a big difference for you? I'd be curious to know. Also, don't forget to check out my other channel if you're interested in the 2020 Jeep Gladiator. It is Rob Motion. Also, if you would, click that notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.